Every two years, at this airport in Hampshire, a global village starts to take shape. The 49th Farnborough Air Show begins on the 14th of July, and in preparation, the halls, the chalets, and the exhibitor pavilions are under construction for what will be the world's largest gathering of aerospace companies and professionals this year. Farnborough always has its share of new aircraft and big industry orders, and this year, looks like being no exception. On the hardware side, Airbus and one of its most important customers, Qatar Airways, could have three aircraft on display. There'll be an A380 and an A320 with sharklets, as well as a possible Farnborough debut of an A350 in hybrid Airbus Qatar colours, taking a break from what could be the final stages of its flight test programme. Qatar, in possibly the biggest ever exhibit by an airline, will have one of its 787-8s on display. And it could be joined by the even newer Dash 9. Another farm first could be the Bombardier C series. Could we see a major commitment for the Canadian manufacturer as it moves towards its target 300 orders by entry into service? On the Airbus side, could we see a launch announcement for the so-called A330neo? Toulouse has been resisting pressure in the market. It's committed in the 250-seat segment to the Airbus A350-800, but the clamour is becoming difficult to ignore. Farnborough is also an incredibly important show for the defence sector, with dozens of military delegations here to look at the latest products and capabilities. The UK's two big fighter programmes the Lockheed Martin F-35 Joint Strike Fighter and the Eurofighter Typhoon could both be in the spotlight here at the show. There's an outside chance of a fly pass by the F-35B from nearby Fairford, while we could also get an update on the active electronically scanned array enhancement for the RAF's Typhoons. And the US Department of Defence, absent from last year's Paris Air Show, is planning what could be its biggest ever presence at Farnborough, with a dedicated area for several aircraft. These are the headlines, but it's behind the scenes at Farnborough where the real action takes place, in the chalets and on the stands, where thousands of business meetings will take place between suppliers and customers, current and potential. This is the global supply chain in action, and to make these links between industry easier, this year's show features a number of enhancements, including new permanent chalets on row A. It's all part of a long-term vision by Farnborough International to modernise this site where the first Farnborough Air Show took place in 1948. There are lots of new things happening at this year's Farnborough Air Show. We're delighted with the new Aero Chalets, which I'm sure everyone's going to check out and, and have a nose and have a look at. Uh, but not least because we've also as well, from the strength of the Aero Chalets, we've got some big primes doing some new things on site, which you'll be able to check out when you walk around. So look for the different looking UTC, for example. Talos are back doing a very spectacular building. And there's some fun things going on site, which you will really notice. And within the exhibition halls, we've got a strong civil and military delegation programme. We've got an area where the delegations will be sitting, having teas and coffees within the heart of the exhibition halls. We have an SME lounge for all of our SMEs for be able to do more networking. We have a lot of first timer zones. And we're delighted that UKTI are supporting uh, an SME section for first-timers coming UK companies with a TAP funding programme. As usual, we've got the, the Space Pavilion doubled in size. We've got the unmanned air system, so lots happening, lots to come and do and see. So we've got the brand new Aero chalets, which everybody will be able to see at Farmer when they come. That's a very exciting new development. We're now, the next stage is looking at spending some 40 million on an exhibition permanent hall, uh, which we're looking at doing the Hall 1A area, and that will incorporate a permanent media centre facilities, conference facilities, and a huge exhibition area that we can utilise, not just lease for the show, but also for other things on site in a non farmer period. And beyond that, of course, I've got very good dreams about having more hard standing on site and genuinely improving the site. So we have a very firm vision which we're very fortunate that all our stakeholders within the area and our local community are all supportive of. So with new infrastructure, 
new aircraft and plenty of new business, the countdown to the 2014 Farnborough Air Show has begun.